Hey, what's going on, guys? James Warren here, and welcome everybody to FY 2017, guys. Yeah, we're here again, guys, because, yep, we're here for the start of a new season, guys, after we did FY 2016, part 84, so the season finale, and I thought that ended in a few minutes down in D so far. But this time, though, this will be very difficult than the last one we did so far. This is a new series of this one of the FF 2017 in so far. New series for this in so far for this. And we can't wait to get into this new team for this in Formula 1 indeed. We're going to join this card. will be pretty much better as the last one indeed. But anyway, we're going to do this now. We'll hopefully do this better for this than last season though. So let's take a look at the drivers and the team that have been changing since last season. Well, the ways it were the first team to win the sort of championship for the team. And have driving record has world champion from last season. These trainee did well to get 9 wins last season and he became the first Australian to win his former World Championship since Alan Jones in 1980. Max Verstappen is back in the seat again but this time he missed out last year for the place for me. And this time this year he's back in the seat to join Ricardo as we're bracing but can he do better as it was missed one year off. Mercedes have Lewis Hunter at base so far and he was one of the championship from last season after James crashed out. Hamilton said the car did really well to score a lot of wins in the last season. He's been joined by fellow Williams driver Fadri, but he's moved to step up to him after classing with me twice in 2015 and 2016. I classed him out in 2015 and he classed me out in the last race in 2016. But could he do it again for Mercedes for the finale race season? Feel I kept the driver line for last season and he came in Sebastian Vettel and Kimi Wyker. The Phoenix scored a podium in Bahrain though, but fell on 40 didn't get any podium from the last few races though. Unfortunately, what Sebastian can need to do, he needs to get a better pay if he wants to challenge for the title. Williams has still kept Felipe Massa at bay, but he's got a lot to prove this season as the Brazilian did really well in his final year in Formula 1. His new teammate though is Ricky Lawrence Drove. The Canadian became the first one to join the Williams team for this, and he became the first time to be a Canadian in the Williams team since so Jack Field have been done to the A. And how will Stroll would be the 70 year old guy could do better for this? McLaren still kept flying on but now the car is now Owens for this season. They came fitting to the championship as a good performance for last season, but a lot's got a lot to put in so he could do better as the gay games goes along for him. The two time world champion could do better for this in this team after joining this team back in 2007. His still a teammate is Belgian rookie of the year star Van Dorn. Who's replaced Jensen Button? And now, how would the Belgian rookie do, will do something like this since Dan Poison joined with Morris uh, or Virgin in 2011? Forces you have changed their slippery to pink now, as the last year it was actually oranges and grey into this. But with Sergio Perez in the bag, he's got a lot of work to prove as the Mexican could do better for this after they disappointed home group before last season. His new team is French Smith Estimate Arco, who replaces Ria Hamianta in the 2016 Belgian Grand Prix. But how he had to do better for that indeed after leave Formula 1 and now how Kanakon could do it for this new team in Force India indeed for this new pink car. There's no great lineup at all Rosso. Rosso is staying fair and Spaniard car sides are back for a second for a year, but both were desperate to get ahead of Matt in the last race of the season. They faced seven the sort of champion indeed so far, but both sides can fear got a lot of work to do if they want to get a podium for this one indeed. With Man of God in Formula 1 has moved with 9 victories for the championship in D so far. Well, man, Grosso didn't go well so far for the season so far and actually beat Esteban Gitti in the championship indeed. he will be joined by former world driver Kevin Magnussen who's joined in to replace Gutierrez and hopefully how the Danes could do better at this car with Grosso indeed. Sabo in the 25th year in Formula 1 though, but Marcus Evan kept for the team for the third year winning since joining in 2015. The Swedish could, could do better, more better, and this pace is going to go well for the Swedish driver. He'll be joined by former man driver Pascal Feller, who didn't beat his teammate with how he entered in the last season so far, but over how he could do better at the Sabre team for this one with partner Marcus Exit indeed. And finally, well, Sport only scored one point to as tied with Sabre. Johnny probably kept his seat for a second four year winning, and I think he could do better after his previous day in Formula 1. And he's been joined but not by Nick Hogberg, for he's going to be joining him at Rare for joining after leaving for senior. But he's going to be replaced by me, James Warren, who will part of Julie Palmer at Reno. So 10 teams are ready to go, ready to go here in Australia and see who's going to win the championship. So 10 teams in Formula 1, but which one will be champion? We'll find out in Australia for the first round of the season. 
Okay, let's begin this career mode for this guy. So let's see. We got all the team we got here got so far. But we're gonna join Rail Sprog, and that's what we're gonna go for for this guy. Last time we drove for Web Ways, but this time we're gonna go for Rail Sprog indeed Pono. Our teammate will be Jolly and Palmer is the Hokuba indeed. So here it is. We can tie the location, so we're gonna go for the harder one we're gonna go for. So hopefully this will be better for this indeed so far. I'm um, not so qualified, full qualified for this so far. For it up, yeah, manual starts and yeah, put the master onto 90. Oh, yeah, we do that for this so far. So let's do this, guys. It's a couple of we doing this so far for this indeed after a long time ago, guys. But anyway, guys, it's time to begin this career mode of the 2017 season in Australia. Let's begin this, guys. Let's do it. Thanks for Emma Jiggy for that for this fantastic meeting for the start of the season for where it's brought indeed so far. And here's our content for the team we're gonna have so far for this. So here we go, new contact. Dear James, welcome to the Rare Formula One Sports team. We're delighted to be on board and look forward to look close to it with your upcoming season. You will start for a second start alongside your teammate Julian Palmer. We have managed to work together to help develop the car and the team as quickly as possible. Now let's get out there and win some sorry, keep with guys, team management. So here we go, guys. Here it is, the Rail Sport Factory team, and hopefully do something like this after we turn it in 2016, after it left in 2012, and become Lotus F1, become come to this team in 2016 indeed so far. Hopefully, we do this over for this, we've got a lot of introduction. We're in this ladder, you can manage the career while off the track, when you're ready to head over the road with you to your first practice set indeed. Now, this is pretty good after last season we did so far. So here we go, we got this one, we got this, we got the fear command, which is the new power for this. So we've got the power unit, fake guy, the gearbox, and the weekend tyler kit is what we got for this weekend. So here we go, we got the gearbox, we got four power for engine, and we got different power units for the car for this. There are an internal combustor engine, the motor genetic unit, kinetic, the motor genetic unit heat, the engine store, the turbo trailer, and the control electrics. Each we got four of them so far, and we can have five if we get a grip penalty for this so far for death. These one will be pretty good by the throughout the whole weekend for this other. I know we got tutorials, but we can't do that just yet so far for this. But yeah, it is completely gonna be really good after last season so far for this guys. So without further ado, let's get into the car for the first race to see that in Australia is at Melbourne for the Australian Grand Prix. Let's do it guys, and he's the home for Daniel Ricardo. Good luck for you, Ricardo. Good luck for my teammate for the month. Well, my champion of the world. We're about to join the action in what is sure to be an interesting practice session here in Melbourne. It's not long until we get the session underway and we'll have some cars appearing out on the track. Beside me to take you through free practice today is a man with three decades of racing experience under his belt. It is, of course, Anthony Davidson. Thanks for joining us today, Anton. Tell me, where should we be focusing our attention today? I think we need to be looking across the entire field to see how far these cars are able to push a single set of tyres. While everyone will be trying different setups and running with different fuel loads, if you're attentive enough you can definitely pick out trends for each type of tyre compound, which will give us a rough idea of how long the drivers are able to stay out there during a stint in the race. So, we're in the mail sport and let's do the garage tour for which is the garage practice simulations. Also be able to adjust your car setup over the course of these sessions 
to try and find those extra fractions of a second. Morning, it's Jeff here. I'm looking forward to working with you as your race engineer. Hope you've had your coffee, because we have a lot of work to do today to get ready for the season ahead. We're ready to fire up the car. Why not head out and get a few early laps under your belt? Excuse me, Jeff, but I hate coffee, but I love a cup of tea. That's why I love to have it every single morning in diesel before I go out. But anyway, guys, we're here for the first race of the season. It's the Australian Grand Prix. First off, everyone's 2017 indeed so far after 2016. But this time we got these practice points we got did. We still got the truck assistant, the time management, the qualified paper. We got the new two more two new practice programs, which is the fuel saving and the race transition. So we're gonna do these do these three first for qualified practice one, then we're gonna do this one for practice two and three. So hopefully how Melbourne will we'll do something like this and someone has to go out where it's like Pascal Fairline. We're going to start the session with the track and the season program. We'll be right back to do this so far for this. But it's good luck for me, guys. And let's begin this track and the season program indeed. Alright then, guys. So, we're going to begin this fantastic first one of this 2017 season. Guys. It's the track and the season program we're going to do for this. And let's learn about it first. Yep, thanks for that. So let's go, guys. Let's go. So, we've done enough for this one indeed. Approaching the DRS zone. Watch your MFD for the activation point. Yeah, thank you for that, Jeff. Whoa. Near lost it there so far for this. And we're now going down to turn three for this, guys. Yeah, pretty good to see this way in 2017 back in Trucker D. And um, we'll just miss that quiet turn three there. So we we'll could go back for that later on for the next lap indeed so far. Perfect, let's through turn five, we go through there, and we go to turn six. Gaining these coins are very good indeed so far. And this is making me a perfect one for this in Formula One, easily indeed. Ooh, that's not very good. So that's a good turn for green. So let's see what turn 11 and 12 could do, something like this in so far for this one indeed, and Gone pretty better we go through for this one indeed. Yep, going through 11, 12, very cruelly in that indeed. As we go through into turn number 13. Yeah, that's perfect indeed so far for that coin indeed. As we go through turn 14. This track is going to be much better indeed so far. Oh, Kimmy Wyke in the FI is going to try to get into my way indeed. But we're just completing this session indeed so far. As we go through to the fire core. There we go, and he won't disturb us if we get let him through. Oh my goodness me. Well, if I did this with... Oh, yeah. Well, that might... My, my one was weird now, thanks for Marcus Ericsson in... <laughs> no, mind, not, not Marcus Ericsson. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't get a purple in D, because why could have ruined my next lap in D so far? We got in turn 3 in D, unfortunately. Why could we need to tour for me? Alright, never mind about that, guys. Anyway, we did well. We completed the test so far. Got fairly good choice points there. And let's head back to the pits to do the next test, which is the qualifying page. Let's do this one, guys. Let's see how this one goes for this. And hopefully, it'd be better than the track of the season program, which is done it indeed. Okay, we didn't go we were at turn 10, 15, 14, and 60 of the fire quarter today. So we got that 30 points there so far. And now the track is now very busy now because we've got 10 cars out of possible 20 now. Because last year we had 22 drivers in this one in D so far. Yeah, thanks for that, Jeff. So next we're going to do the time management, guys. And hopefully how this will be better than last season we did so far. We did about four laps of this. But this time it's free for this one now. Let's see how this one be better than the last one we did so last season in D so far in Australia for this. Alright, here we go. Through the five car we come through now. Will help you learn time management while earning resource points for development of your car. 
Be careful on the controls to reduce the amount of tire slip and therefore wear. The better you can do this, the higher you will score and the more resource points you will receive. You will need to balance tire management with speed as you must stay under the target lap time. When the on-screen bar moves towards the red end, that means that you're wearing your tires more than expected at this part of the lap. When it moves towards the purple, you're wearing them less. Stay in the green or purple for a successful test. Yep, that will do for this so far for this, thank you for that indeed. Well, that test will be pretty much better as this one goes for this. Let's see how this time management program will go for this one indeed in last season. But yeah, last season was not pretty good because we failed the test in Australia for this so far. Is it going to repeat the last one indeed so far? Hope so, let's see, through turn three and four. Oh, the damn four is not very good indeed so far to be racing around this one indeed. So well, uh, as the test is not going completely well so far for this guys, and hopefully how this one goes for the plan indeed for this one in qualifying and the practice progress indeed. Oh, that was very close indeed so far as we go through to turn 9. Good down force the pace so far for this as we only just 110 to there so far for this. So it's very high tyre program we're having today so far. I'm hearing this fantastic first race of the tree. 17 season guys and we just edged up there for that corner at turn 12 there yeah hopefully this will be better than last season we did so far with web racing though as we for this one the team in the racing point not quite there yet hopefully how this one for the bag is going to be much better as we go through as we go for the fire coin D we can see a McLaren just going to pits there I think that might be Alonso or Stoff Van Dorn there as we go through to cross the line to see what our lap will could be so far. Let's see. Uh, We've gone for a valley lap time, unfortunately. We didn't see any of this indeed. Yeah, it's very hard for the master program for this indeed so far, Jeff. So we think we're not going to improve for this guy. But anyway, guys, let's head back to the garage and do the qualified pace with this. This will be the last one before we do the next one. These two for the next session for this, guys. Okay, guys. See you back at the garage. Okay, we're gonna now gonna do the qualified pace guys and so hopefully how this one will be better for the last two we did so far. So let's see, we are going on the ultra tire for the first time in Australia and we're gonna go for a fire lap for this so far and hopefully how this one goes for this so far for this one indeed. The ultra tire will be very better than we had it used in twenty sixteen though for this. The purple ultra were new in twenty sixteen though in Monaco. So that was introduced back in May 2016, I think. So yeah, so off we go to about this. Let's learn about the quarter pace. Yes, I would that. Thank you very much. All right, let's do it. Let's do the quarter pace, guys. First race, the first right. Okay, we're at turn one, two. Alright, we need to do this better to get 15 or higher for this one indeed so far, guys. As we go through down to turn three. Ooh, that's a little bit better there as we go through to the right of turn five. Maximize the team pace there so far. As we go, wow, that was very quickly. We just got on the grass there. We're going purple in the first set indeed so far, so we're fast indeed so far in the first set today so far guys. Then we're going to turn 9 now, so hopefully to get this race pace go better for this qualified pace we go for practice 1 indeed. Hopefully how would this and the next session will be pretty good for practice 1 and 2 and 3. And hopefully how this one goes for the best pace indeed for this. So hopefully we'll do this one for this one guys and then I'll do the last two laps doing it on myself for this guys. And see if we complete it or not so far. So let's see. Third turn, third we go through there. And maintain the pace goes for this one in Australia indeed. Whoa, we've got a bit wider turn 14 there. So that's going to cost a lot of time there. For that set to then go for this, guys. Through 50. And the fire quarter is turn 60, which is the longest white tide of it indeed so far. And what is going to be the lap indeed? And we're going to cross the line to see what our lap will be. It's a moment 28.964. That's put it to P time at the moment. So that's a good one indeed so far for this pace indeed in qualifying D. And some of the drivers are struggling out there here in this track in Melbourne indeed so far. So we've done it a lot indeed so far in Melbourne guys. And I will see you back in the pit and see 
what we did for this one well, indeed. So yeah guys, unfortunately we failed the test there guys, unfortunately. Because we had to abandon that last lap we did for this so far. We've got excellent performance there. We've got 50 possible 70, 25 resources. We've fast in set to 1. Clean laps, top speed, consistent, very good D. So where were we at the moment? So we're currently in P10 at the moment. So we're doing well so far for this first set in D so far for this in this first person in D for this season D so far. So hopefully it will be going better for me so far after last season so far with my team Ricardo. But let's see the end of Q practice one and see who's gone fastest indeed. So the end of the first practice of the 2017 season, guys, see both three eyes of Fettel Wagger. Top the top with Bubba's in behind and both Red Bulls behind. So as an excellent seven player, has a did good well so far since his last season. We've got P11 for that for our team. And my team at Palmer was only just about like 15 or 16 facts to leave for my team at there. So that's very good indeed so far for this so far. But unfortunately, we haven't got time to see Chris in the moment for this. But we have to do that for the next video for this, guys. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Let me know in the comments section below if you see how much for this one it's going to be better for this. It's going to be a good sight to see so far. There will be a full ways for part 4 for this. And hopefully this one will be better for this so far for this season. This so far. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching for this season. First part of this 2017 season, guys. And we will see you next time for the second and um, third part of season for this. season for the next time. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching for this, guys. And we'll see you next time.